Calculating distance between two planets is not as hard as you think. It is actually way more easier than solving a quadratic equation. After watching this entire video, even you can measure distance between Earth and any other planets in our solar system. Actually, this video is quite long. So I have divided it into two parts. Don't forget to watch the second part after completing this video or else you will not understand anything. To measure small distances like say to measure the height of paper, we use centimeter scale. To measure distances like height of a person, we use meter scale. But what if you want to measure distance between two planets? Would you still use meter scale? It would be very funny if you used meter scale to measure distance between Earth and Moon. It is actually not even possible to do so. Then how did we measure the distance between Earth and every other planet in our solar system? Well, there is a very simple trick that we have used to measure large distances. At first, I want you to fix your thumb finger to a particular background and then observe it by closing your left eye. And then open your left eye and observe your thumb again by closing your right eye. You would have no noticed a slight change in position of your thumb in respect to its background. If you did not notice any change, I want you to repeat the experiment again by changing the background. Now you would have noticed any change. This change in position of your thumb is known as parallax effect. Parallax effect is nothing but the change in position of the object when viewed from different points. You would be thinking that what does this all have to do with measuring distance between two planets? Well, we actually use parallax effect to measure distance between planets. Parallax effect is very simple thing that occurs in our daily life. So how can we use it to measure such a large distances? For doing that, you have to use a little bit of logic. Say that you have to measure distance between Earth and Moon. Then at first you have to observe Moon from two different points on Earth. As you observe from two different points, the position of the Moon would slightly change with respect to its background. This is same as changing in position of thumb in our previous experiment. Now let those two points on Earth be point A and point B. In order to measure distance correctly, these two points must be diametrically opposite. Then points A and B would be the Earth's diameter. Let moon be the point C. Notice that points ABC had formed a triangle. In this triangle, sides AC or BC is the distance between Earth and moon. Let this distance be D. Now you can see that points A and B had formed an angle on point C. Let this angle be theta and distance between points A and B is B. Now the triangle is completed. In order to calculate distance between Earth and moon, we have to find the value of D. But how do we do that? Actually, there is a formula to calculate D. It is D is equal to B by theta. In order to calculate distance between Earth and Moon, you have to divide the value of B by value of theta. You can see how simple that is. Note that the value of theta must be in radians and not in degrees. Using this formula, you can measure distance between Earth and any planet you want. You can also measure the diameter of moon by using this formula. Don't worry if you did not understand this concept. I am going to solve some problems regarding this concept in my next video and then you will understand. If you have learned something new today, then like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to not miss my next videos.